the very old teddy bear. Bruiny the teddy bear was very old indeed. He belonged to Billy and he was older even than Billy because once upon a time it belonged to Billy's mother. Billy's mother had loved him very much and she had never wanted to give him away. But when she had a little boy of her own she brought old Bruiny out of the cupboard and gave him to Billy. There you are. She said, you can have old Bruni, darling. He's so soft and cuddlesome. He has had to be sewn up here and here, and his ears don't match now. But I expect you will love him because he looks so sweet. Billy did love him. He was such a very cuddly bear. You know, some toys are much more cuddly than others, and you feel as if you must snuggle them up in bed. Well, Bruni was that kind of toy. He was lovely. Billy loved him very much. He played with Bruni a lot when he was little. Then he came to the time when he liked engines and cars, and he played with those all day. New toys came to the nursery. There was a very neat sailor doll. There was a clockwork dog that could run and wag its tail. There were two soldiers, both as smart as can be. They laughed at old Bruni. Whatever does Billy keep you for? they said. A dirty, smelly old toy like you. You look awful. Your ears don't match, and do you know you've lost an eye? Yes, I know, said Bruiny. It fell down a crack in the floor. I couldn't get it out. You ought to be in the dustbin, said the clockwork dog in disgust. I don't like living in the same toy cupboard as you. He won't be kept much longer, said the sailor doll. Billy will throw him away. He's too old even to give away now. Don't let's talk to him, said one of the soldiers. Really, he's quite impossible. But the bear didn't seem to mind what they said. He smiled a little and looked at them out of his one brown eye. You don't seem to mind the idea of being thrown away, said the sailor doll, annoyed. I shan't be thrown away, said Bruiny. Well, you might be given away or thrown into the back of the cupboard and never remembered again, said the clockwork dog. I shan't be forgotten or given away, said Bruiny. I may fall to bits with old age, but I shan't be put into the dustbin. And I dare say I shall still be here when you are broken and gone. What does he mean? said the sailor doll to the two soldiers. He seems very sure about things. How does he know he won't be thrown away? He sits there and smiles. He doesn't care a bit when we say these things to him, said one of the soldiers, puzzled. Dirty, ragged, smelly, ugly old thing, said the clockwork dog. I'd be afraid of the dustbin every minute of the day if I was like him. Bruin wasn't happy or worried. He just looked rather amused, as if he knew something that the others didn't know. They were so curious about it that they at last asked him. "'Why are you so sure that nothing horrid will happen to you?' said the sailor doll at last. "'Tell us. You look as if you know something we don't know.' "'I do,' said Bruiny. "'I know the biggest thing in the world, the only thing that can be trusted, and the most beautiful thing there is. And I know I'm safe as long as it lasts. How are you safe? What do you know? What is the biggest thing in the world? said the other toys in surprise. Listen to me and I will tell you, said the teddy bear, looking at them out of his one brown eye. What do you see when you look at me? I know very well. You see a dirty old bear, sewn up here and sewn up there, because he got torn, with ears that don't match, and with only one eye and no growl. He stopped. The others nodded. That was just what they did see. Well, Billy sees all that too, but it doesn't matter to him because he loves me, said Bruiny. Love is the very biggest thing in the world, you know. I'm safe because Billy loves me. He won't put me into the dustbin. He won't give me away. I'm Bruiny, the old bear he loves, the old bear his mother loved too. The old bear that has snuggled up to him hundreds and hundreds of times. Oh, said the sailor doll. He must love you a lot, Bruiny. He does, said Bruiny. I'm a lucky bear, because I've been loved a lot. I've loved Billy's mother too, and of course I love Billy. No wonder I'm happy. Yes, no wonder you're happy, said the clockwork dog. I'd like to be loved like that too. You must feel very safe when you're loved. It's a pity there isn't more love in the world, Bruiny. There doesn't seem enough to go round. There is, really, said Bruiny, but we don't all do our share and love one another. I know you hate me, for instance, but I can't help being old and ragged. No, 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 we don't hate you, said the sailor doll, looking suddenly ashamed. We weren't very wise, that's all. We didn't think about this biggest thing in the world. 
Please be friends, will you? Of course, said Bruini, delighted. I'll do anything I can for you. I'll tell you stories of the time when Billy's mother was a little girl, if you like. I know such a lot of stories. But before he could tell them one, Billy came in. Where's old Bruini? he said. Oh, there you are. Come on, Bruini, I want to cuddle you tonight because I feel lonely. Mother's gone away for a bit, you know. We'll snuggle up in bed together, dear old cuddly bear. How Billy loves Bruni, said the sailor doll to the others. No wonder he feels safe. It must be nice to be loved like that. Let's be friendly and loving to him now, shall we? Because he really is such a nice old bear. I expect you wonder what's happened to old Bruni. Well, he belongs to Billy's little sister now, and she takes him to bed every night and loves him. So he knows quite a lot about the biggest thing in the world, doesn't he? Lucky old Bill. <laughs>